Mein Stiefvater hat eigentlich nur eine Reise gemacht. Mein Stiefvater's life focused on his experiences in Budapest. Er als Retter ist behandelt worden. He saved a lot of people, but was treated like a fraud. This deeply hurt him. Karl Lutz was a Swiss diplomat from Appenzell. He was religious and shy. At first, he was nothing more than a hard-working bureaucrat. But at a decisive moment, he showed a lot of moral courage. A new film on Karl Lutz is being released. It's called The Forgotten Hero. Director Daniel von Arburg talked to Jewish people who were saved by Lutz. And he was given access to Lutz's private photo and film archive. Lutz's stepdaughter, Agnes Hirschi, still has fond memories of him. This is the original plate that used to hang in front of his office in Budapest. Here you can see gunshot marks. From 1942 on, as the second man in the Swiss embassy in Budapest, Lutz ran the Department of Foreign Affairs. This is how he became the great hope for many Hungarian Jews that wanted to leave for Palestine. After the German invasion of Hungary in March 1944, Jews in Budapest were persecuted and deported to Auschwitz. Lutz refused to remain inactive and called on Hitler's representative in Budapest, SS Lieutenant Colonel Adolf Eichmann. The new film shows this previously unpublished sequence where Lutz describes his risky intervention. Herr Obersturmbahnführer, jetzt sage ich etwas, was Sie überrascht. I said, Lieutenant Colonel, I'm going to tell you something that might surprise you. If you were a Jew, you would also come knocking on my door. He was enraged and said, gosh, you have some nerve to say something like this to me. I replied that for me there are only people who want to save their lives. There are no Germans, no Jews and no Swiss. His initiative was successful. From the Führer's main quarters, Lutz was granted a contingent of 8,000 so-called units. He knew straight away that this would never be enough. He solved the dilemma by inventing a system of collective passports for up to 1,000 people and individual protection papers. The Swiss embassy was completely overrun, and an empty showroom at a glass manufacturer was turned into a branch office. It was here that over 100 Jewish helpers worked in shifts to fabricate the protection certificates. Lutz exceeded the number of 8,000 by far, without any guarantees from the Swiss authorities. In this way, Lutz managed to save over 60,000 lives. After the war, his return to Switzerland was a disappointment. He was given another desk job and told that he had overstepped the boundaries. This upset him for the rest of his life. He was hurt, never having received any gratitude from his country. Unlike in Germany, where he received the Federal Cross of Merit. It was only in 1995, 20 years after his death, that Switzerland finally recognized his humanitarian act. <laughs>